Hello beautiful people, it's your favorite girl Ella OKC and I welcome you back to Just Centra. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when next we upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up after watching and you can as well put down your comments and also share it to your friends. What I don't really understand is what the country is turning into. Like this saying that this song there goes, Nigeria is going from top to bottom. There is no, the truth is not far from it. Because the Nigerian teen named Asian Daniel who stabbed his grandmother eight times in the breast. That's after she mistakenly puked in his food. Initially, Danielle has always been disgusted by her action, triggered by her old age. Danielle's hatred for his grandmother escalated after she turned deaf ears pertaining his parents. You see, Daniel is an orphan who was practically raised by his grandmother from birth. And as time passes, Asian Daniel felt a vacuum as he feels different whenever his friends discourses about their appearance, which, however, left him wondering what it feels like to have a complete family and not being raised by a poor old woman. His friends always mock him as they call him husband to an old woman. They even suggested he have fun with her, like caressing her body as uh, they feel she is too old to refuse. After more chit chats with his peers, he started succumbing to all he heard from them and all his being thought. You see, he, st he intended in using his grandmother to satisfy his urge and desires. Due to this, the old woman who has been lacking affection and attention for a long time finally let her grandson Daniel Asin satisfy himself and does whatever thing he wants with her and whenever he wants it. After a while, Daniel Asin unapologetically started giving his grandmother, to be talking about his grandmother, not even his grandmother. He practically started giving his grandmother lap dances and indulged her in other nasty activities. Now, this takes us to the crime scene where Daniel stabbed his grandmother in the breast. <coughs> this is a pathetic story, though. On a fateful afternoon, Daniel went to buy himself lunch from a food vendor and on his way coming back from school because his old grandmother wasn't so strong to prepare his lunch, he strolled home with his food accompanied with the scorching sun and on getting home, he unwrapped his food and unfortunately, his sick grandmother needed to use the restroom as it's located outside. A hungry looking Daniel was disgusted, especially when he saw saliva gushing out from his grandmother's mouth. Worse come to worse, his sick old grandmother accidentally puked in his food, aggravating the Nigerian teen's anger. He lost control as of that time. You know when you're hungry, when you when you're hungry and the sun is much like there was no better explanation for Daniel's next action as it was so unexpected. He lost control of, of himself. He kicked his food. He ran to push his grandmother to the floor and hurriedly went to the kitchen to get a knife. And shockingly, he mercilessly stabbed her eight times in the chest. He left the house raging in anger as he didn't care about the blood stains on his hands and shirt. His neighbors saw him in that ungodly mood as they rushed to see what must have led to the blood stains on Daniel, only to get there to see Daniel's grandmother in the pool of her own blood. She was immediately rushed to the hospital and not quite long after admission, she was declared dead by the doctor, which marveled everyone as they wondered what must have transpired between Daniel and his grandmother because their relationship was visible and noticed by their neighbors, unknown to them that Daniel was greatly influenced by his peers. 
Throughout the night, Daniel was missing and the following morning, police officers came to investigate the whole matter and up to date, the Nigerian teen, Daniel Asin, is nowhere to be found. And the matter escalated as some of his friends ran away and some questioned due to Daniel's disappearance. As a popular adage says, show me your friend and I will tell you who you actually are. You see, when the policemen came to investigate, they actually asked Daniel's, one of Daniel's friend, the one who, who stick by the whole thing. They asked him concerning the issue and how Daniel has turned out to be, in, at least in their circle. And then one of his friends attested that Daniel's ill behavior was something else as Daniel has tried to lure them into indulging in illegal activities. Now the storyline has changed to everyone pointing accusing fingers at Daniel. His friend does not want to get entangled in the whole scenario. Wow. Let's all learn to choose our friends wisely and those who will speak good of us even behind our backs. One of the neighbors spoke up, saying he, were, he has often heard and noticed the sudden change of behavior towards Daniel. The way Daniel behaved towards his grandmother ever since she fell ill as he could no longer have her and get her to dance to his tunes and urge. This neighbor also disclosed that Daniel has been caught severally mocking him on being a husband to an old woman. This neighbor is clearly letting us know that he has overheard Daniel's friends mocking Daniel about his poor granny. Thereby, Daniel started seeing it as a liability for a young teen, especially now that she could no longer cook and do other house chores, as she always farts and do several irritating stuff, pissing the Nigerian teen off. The neighbor stated that he overheard Daniel's conversation with one of his friends on how to get rid of his grandmother. It would have been so clear on the plot why he there was no reasonable explanation as to why Daniel Asin has to kill his grandmother. This was the same old woman that nurtured and cared for him ever since his parents died. Is this the right way to repay an old woman back? Seriously, we need to really pay attention to the kind of friends we keep. The kind of words we hear from people because Daniel already has always been giving listening ears to his friends. He has always been succumbing to them. He has always taken their bully, at least bullying him and telling him all manner of words that will trigger him, that will annoy him, that will see the wrong path in staying with his grandmother. Instead of being grateful because... This said old woman, it is revealed that she is old and she is poor, but she still have that genuine love towards her grandson, at least not telling him how his parent died so that he doesn't feel a vacuum. She generated all her love, her care and attention to her loving grandson, but in turn, Ace and Daniel killed her. So ever since then, no one really knows what's happening to Ace and Daniel because his location is not even disclosed. No one knows where he has gone to or what he is currently doing. No one knows if he is currently even alive. Because after he left that day, he showed no sign of return. His neighbors attested that ever since then, Daniel has not really showed up because he was actually supposed to at least turn up and get some of his properties or some of his grandmother's stuffs, or try to, because indeed they have a farmland or thereabouts. But Daniel did not show concern as he did not even turn back. Initially, if he would have returned, normally he would be held responsible. He would be handcuffed, but Daniel did not even show up for any reason. Funny enough, none of his friend knows his whereabouts. And this left me wondering, because this is highly terrible. No one knows who to trust. You even have 
this will even arise and make us have trust issues towards our relatives, towards our siblings, because this thing is packing out another form of another form of fear in us. As we are even scared to stay peacefully with our relative. What if any of our siblings feel okay? The love that you're generating, that our parents are generating, is too much on a particular uh, child in the family. All this causes unnecessary jealousy in the family. Thereby, it is always advisable to call on the God you believe in to save you from all these troubles. And so my darling viewers, I'm really glad you stick to the very end of the story. I believe you've subscribed already, but if you haven't, I want you to do that and turn on post notifications because I know you want to be the very first person to watch our next video. I remain your favorite girl, Ella OKC. Keep watching this Central. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and as well share it to your friends. Thank you.